Hi guys, welcome to my DIY channel. My name is Annalie and in today's video, it is the final round of the Creative Champion Contest and the theme is Crafter's Choice. Let's get right into it. For this first project, we're gonna be using this sign that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. For the theme this week in the contest, the theme is Crafter's Choice. So I got to pick whatever I wanted and I actually really loved this little lemon farmhouse scene that I will be making in this video. And I saw it at one of our local decor stores here called Real Deals. Leave a comment down below if you guys know what Real Deals is and if you have one close by because it is amazing. So I saw some of their projects there and I decided that I wanted to recreate them. And so I went ahead and I got the back of this frame painted white and then I got the outer frame painted in the color mineral using Waverly chalk paint. And then I just used a paint marker to give this a uh, faux shiplap looking background for the back of this sign here. And then I sand it down to give it some distressing and just kind of make it look a little bit rustic and farmhouse. Then I went ahead and with the frame, I went in and did a very heavy handed dry brush thing, dry brushing on this frame right here to just make it look really farmhouse and to match the other frame that I made for this that you guys will see here in just a minute. And then after I did that, I used a paint marker to dot the edges around the side. This was actually something that I saw on one of the signs and I thought it added just the cutest little touch to it so I hot glued the frame back together and then added these little touches and then we're going to be putting this little round circle in here with a lemon slice on it that I just used some yellow vinyl for. Here is that little lemon slice, and we are getting this transferred and put on. You guys can see the dots a little bit better on the side. It kind of gave it just a little bit more detail. And then just using some hot glue, I glued this right into the center, and that was it. This That's up for this little sign. So here is the completed look with all of the Lemon Farmhouse DIYs. I submitted three projects over onto Heidi's channel. I did those half lemon slices. I did a whole lemon cutout. I did the lemon slice beaded garland and then this little sign here that says you are my sunshine. So if you'd like to see how I made these, please go over and check out the video that Heidi has posted. I will have that link down below for you guys and it will show you how I made each one of those projects over there to create this cute little lemon farmhouse look. I just wanted to interrupt for just a quick second just to tell you all thank you so much for the opportunity that you have all given me to do this champion competition. I would not be here in the final round if it were not for you guys voting for me to move on into the final round. When I entered into the competition, I honestly just hoped to move on past the first round. After I moved on past the first round, I hoped to just be able to go all four rounds because then I would be able to participate in the Friend Friday Hops 
And the, the Friend Friday hops are so awesome and amazing for my channel. So I really just wanted to be able to make it into all four videos. So as cheesy as this might sound, I technically have already won because I made it into the fourth video. Like a personal win. I haven't won the contest, but it's a personal win for me because I made it all four videos. I made it into all four rounds, you guys. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Whatever the outcome, I am just gonna be so grateful regardless. So I'm cheering on Antoinette. You guys make sure that you go check her out. Make sure that you go check out Heidi. And thank you, Heidi, for giving us this opportunity to participate in this contest. Thank you so much for voting for me and getting me to this point. I hope that I've continued to earn your vote. But like I said, I'm just grateful to be in the fourth video. So personal win for me. Thank you guys so much and let's get right back into the video. For this project, we are gonna be using another sign from the Dollar Tree and we're getting it opened and I'm actually going to break off the edges of these pieces because I just want the back part of this because it is the perfect shape for the sign that we're gonna be making, the one sign that um, you may have seen on my shelf that said squeeze the day. So we went ahead and we just got everything painted and then using some square dowels, I just used my chop saw to cut these down to size and then I painted them in the color mineral from Waverly Chalk Paint. And then I let everything dry and of course gave it some distressing. To make this sign just a little bit more unique, I used some masking tape to create a cute little striped pattern and I just painted on a big stripe in the middle and then some thinner stripes on either side of that and then some really thin stripes on the edges of that. And so here you can just see me getting those painted on and then I of course sand those down to have them look really faded and rustic and farmhouse. Once that was dry, then I just used some wood glue and some hot glue to glue the frame pieces around on this side. And then just using some vinyl, I put um, the word squeeze the day with a little lemon in some yellow vinyl on this sign. And then of course, distress the edges because everything has to be distressed. And that's kind of the theme that you guys will probably see on every single one of my videos, but we get that distressed and then this little piece is done. And for our final piece of this video that you will see on this actual video, we are using yet another sign that you can get from the Dollar Tree. But this was the perfect size and I actually really like the um, blonde frame on this. So we're gonna be leaving this the same color. But I'm just taking some scrapbook paper. This is some lemon scrapbook paper that I got from Joann's and cutting that down to size so that it will fit into my frame right here. And then I do glue that down with some wood glue so that it doesn't wrinkle my paper as much. I really love using wood glue to glue down my paper because it has less moisture content than Mod Podge. And so it really, um, your paper just lies really, really smooth. There's less wrinkling and crinkling when you use wood glue on your paper.
And then I have this little teeny piece of paper where I printed let's get zesty on it and then I cut out some yellow vinyl in a frame but the yellow was just a little bit brighter than the lemons that I'm going to be putting on the in this scrapbook paper. So I actually just used an Arteza paint marker to darken the yellow. That actually worked really well. I didn't know if it would but it stayed on the vinyl and as long as I didn't rub it too much it actually worked really well. So I just went ahead and I put this little scalloped frame around the edges and that was it. Guys, this little project was done. You guys, please be sure to go over and check out the video link down below so that you can see the other videos and also so that you can see Antoinette's video. She is the um, other girl that is in the final round with me and so I'd love for you guys to go check out all of our videos. Also, this video is a Friend Friday hop. So we will have the video of the next girl in line linked down below for you guys to click on that video and just go ahead and hop around and it'll take you full circle and you'll be able to see all of the videos. watching I hope you really liked this video this is something that I have really wanted to make for a long time and it's something that I'm truly going to decorate with in my home plus I feel like when you look at it you just can't help but smile and feel happier just because there's just something about the color yellow and sunshine and lemons that just I feel like makes you smile and makes you happier so thank you guys so much for watching and for those of you who are new here welcome to my end segment this is the part of video where I share an uplifting message with you guys basically usually it's related to another YouTube video that you guys can go and watch but I do it at the end so that if you don't want to watch this part and you just came for the crafts then you can go ahead and shut this off but if you want to stick around I have awesome stuff for you guys I have such a good one it's always a good one you guys so Darren Hardy, I know I've talked about him a lot. If you guys are not subscribed to him, what are you waiting for? Seriously, you got, you have got to go and subscribe to his channel because there is so much goodness that he is putting out, you guys. His content is amazing. He has definitely been a mentor to me in my life and he has helped me have such a positive outlook. The video that I wanna share with you guys today is another Darren Hardy video is another Darren Hardy video. And it caught my eye because the video is titled The Fastest Way to the Top. Um, what? Whose eye would that not catch? He teaches you guys the fastest way to get to the top. And it's amazing. Of course, it's an incredible story. A long time ago, a man and his wife walked into a hotel lobby and asked to check into a room. It was very, very late. When they went to check in, they were tired and the hotel clerk said, I'm so sorry, we are completely full for the night. But rather than turn these people away, he said, I don't want to send you out. It's one o'clock in the morning, out into the dark night, into the rain. I'm just going to give you my room. And the people insisted. They said, no, 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 we can't do that. We cannot take your room. And he said, no. The clerk insisted and said, I insist because I'm not going to turn you away. He said, it's not a suite. It's not the most luxurious room, but it's comfortable and you'll be warm. So he gave him his own room. The next morning when this man went to pay and check out, he was so grateful for this hotel manager. And he looked at this hotel clerk and he said, you should be managing the best hotel in the entire world. Two years later, fast forward, these two stay in touch. They stay friends. And the man who had rented the hotel called up the hotel clerk and said, I want you to come out and see a project that I've been working on. And so he flies this man out, flies out the hotel clerk, brings him out and he takes him to I don't know the address, but it's in New York. I'm sorry, guys, make sure you watch it. But he takes him to this corner in New York and he shows him this building that I think is being built or maybe just built, but it's a really nice building and it's a hotel. And the man says, I want you to be the manager of this grand hotel. And the hotel clerk was like, I, I can't. And he was like, I assure you, you can't. And that hotel is now the Waldorf Hotel in New York. Now, I don't, I've never been to the Waldorf Hotel, hotel, but I've heard of it, so that's something. And so all the way over here in Idaho, I have heard of this hotel. So anyways, the point of this story, he goes on to say, is this is the fastest way to the top. So this hotel clerk had his own hotel, and two years later, he was at the top. And it's a very successful hotel, okay? The fastest way to the top is to keep in mind that no matter what you're doing, you are always being watched, always. The world is watching, okay? Whether you realize it or not, you are always being watched. So the fact that that hotel clerk gave 
this person his own room and didn't turn him away was just a natural act of kindness. It's just who this man was. This hotel clerk was just being kind and he was just giving this person that he didn't even know, a stranger essentially, a customer, he was giving him a good experience. He was a very good manager and he made sure that the customer had a good experience. This was natural. So basically, Darren Hardy talks about how you are technically always on stage. So you want to be, you always want to make sure that since you're being watched, make sure that they're watching something good. Make sure that you are something good. And don't do it because you might, do it because it's right. That is a direct quote from Darren Hardy. And when he said that, I backed it up and I actually wrote it down and I, I repeat that. Don't do it because you might, do it because it's right. So basically don't do it because you might get caught. Don't do it because somebody might see you doing something good or don't do it because somebody might see you doing something wrong. Do it because it's right. Do it because it's just in you. It's in you all the time to just naturally give somebody your own room just because you want to have good customer service. That is the fastest way to the top. Habitual patterns of kindness and good works are the fastest way to the top. So make sure that you guys watch that video down below. I will have it linked because Darren Hardy always presents the subject so much better than I do, but I get so much when I listen to him. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you guys would like to, please consider subscribing. This is a hop, so please don't forget to go down and click on the link below so that you can go over to the next girl. There's only three of us, but you wanna make sure that you hop around and please go check out Antoinette. Heidi, thank you so much for this competition and for allowing me to participate. And Antoinette, I'm honored to be in the finals rounds with you. Good luck, I wish you the best of luck. All of the girls who have been eliminated, I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to work with each and every one of you. I wish you were all here, but I've learned so much from you. So again, I cannot have enough breath attitude for this competition. And last but not least, thank you so much to all of you guys, because you guys are the reason why I made it into the final round for the competition. So don't forget to go vote, check out the other girl, check out Darren Hardy, and check out Heidi. Okay, is there anything else? Have I missed anything? I hope not. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.